Good morning. We're going to talk about the top 10 parking lot safety tips for Black Friday. How to stay safe. Number one, you always have to be in your garden parking lots. They are the most dangerous place. You have cars pulling in, you have cars backing out, you have cars pulling through parking spots, which we never recommend. Always look, always be safe. Number two, seen and be seen. You as a driver, you have to look. You've got to look left, you've got to look middle, you have to look right. You've got to look for little feet going between cars. You have to look for people running to catch that sale. You always have to look around. Drive with your headlights on. Most cars have daytime running lights. This is 2021. Number three, slow down and buckle up and obey the law. I can't tell you how many times we've been to the Mall of America and many malls around the country. People do not stop at four-way stop signs. They're in a hurry to catch that sale. And down there below that stop sign, you're trying to do all you can. Use your blinker. Use your turn signal. Drive at the speed. It's either 15 or 20 or 25 around that outer ring. People do not stop. They forget how to understand the rules of the four-way stop, and they don't yield. Next, head for the side door. Avoid that main door rush. You know, we all have a little bit of phobia. People are running in. They'll step on you. They'll run you down to catch it by a video card, right? They'll run you down to catch to get a sale on the big screen TV. Head to that side door. That is less people coming in, less apt to get shoplifted, less apt to get uh, pickpocketed, and less apt to get run over. Head to that side door. Next, play the outfield. Look for areas and big spaces. I like to park way, way, way at the end. I know you're saying, man, that's a big walk, but a walk is good. Your car won't get scratched. It won't get damaged. Look for those open spots. Next, refrain from reversing. Reversing is a very dangerous spot. I know what you're saying, but I have a backup camera. Your best backup camera is your eyes. Don't rely on a small 8-inch or 10-inch screen. You've got to look over your shoulder. Kids are excited. Our senior citizens are excited. Teenagers are excited. Heck, everyone is excited. Re avoid reversing. Next, look out for children and distracted people. People are checking their phones for messages from grandma and grandpa. Little kids are looking on different social medias. They're walking down. They're looking at their phones and walking. They don't see you. You don't see them. That spells a pedestrian car accident at the mall. We don't want that. Next, stay on track and alert. If you're going into a certain store, go right to that store, wait in line, get what you need, and get out of the mall. Don't be hanging around, because if you hang around, there's more apt for your car to get damaged, more apt for your car to get stolen, and more apt for you to be around other people. Next, lock your door and hide your valuables. My dad told me, boy, put your stuff in your trunk. You don't wanna leave your phone out, you don't wanna leave credit cards out, you don't wanna leave gifts out. There are people who specifically walk through the mall parking lots to look for people who have book bags, who have packages, who have gifts. You will be a prime target to get your gifts stolen, and then you won't have a happy holiday. Uh, last one, just stay home and wait until Cyber Monday. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I hope this helped you. If it did, subscribe to my channel. I do driving tutorials, and I appreciate you. Happy holidays.